So Hare Krishna devotees, welcome to Shloka Day. Today's Shloka is Shloka number seven. A very important Shloka, a Shloka that we should actually memorize. Mattah Parataram Nanyat Kinchedasti Dhananjaya Mai Sarvamidam Protam Sutre Manigana Iva Mattaf Parataram Nanyat Kinchedasti Dhananjaya Mai Sarvamidam Protam Sutre Manigana Iva Mattah Parataram Nanyat Kinchedasti Dhananjaya Mai Sarvamidam Protam Sutre Manigana Iva Please recite after me. Mattah Parataram Nanyat Mattah Parataram Nanyat Kinchedasti Dhananjaya my Sarvamidam Protam. My Sarvamidam Protam. Tremanigana Eva. Tremanigana Eva. Mattaf Parataram Nanyat. Mattaf Parataram Nanyat. Kinchedasti Dhananjaya. ಜಯ <laughs> word for word meaning and translation by his divine grace ac bhagavad swami shila prabhupad shila prabhupad ki jai Matata. Beyond me. Beyond, Beyond me. And Parataram. Parataram. Superior. Superior. Na. 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 Not. Not. Anyat kinchit. Anyat kinchit. Anything else. Anything else. Asti. 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 There is. There is. Dhananjaya. O conqueror of wealth. O conqueror of wealth. Mai. Mai. In me. In me. Sarvam. Sarvam. All that be. All that be. Idam. Idam. Which we see. Which we see. Protam. Protam. Is strong. Is strong. Sutre. So say on a thread. On a thread. Money gana. Money gana. Pearls. Pearls. Eva. Eva. Like. Like. Translation. O conqueror of wealth. O conqueror of wealth. There is no truth superior to me. There is no truth superior to me. Everything rests upon me. As pearls are strung on a thread. As pearls are strung on a thread. So, the Lord here is stating clearly that everything, both matter and spirit, that exists. exist because of him. So as we've discussed, in a pearl necklace, you can see the pearls, but you cannot see the thread. 
the pulse are dependent on that thread to bring them all together. So here, all the multifarious energies of the Lord, the Lord is saying, ultimately rest on him. Which means all the Shakti potencies emanate from the Lord. They cannot exist without the Lord. Lord is also stating here that there is no truth superior to him. So many times uh, there is a difference in philosophical opinion between the Vedantists and the Dvaitists. So the Vedantists believe that the Lord does not have a form. That the topmost form of the Lord is that he is formless. The Dvaitists believe the exact opposite. And this is one shloka that the Dvaitists use to establish this fact. When the Lord says there is no truth superior to me and that everything rests on him as if strung on a thread, he is clearly stating that he exists in his form. So one cannot read this particular shloka and walk away with the conclusion that the Lord is formless. Therefore, Prabhupada, in his purport, talks about how the Lord is the supreme absolute truth. And in the Brahma Samhita, uh, there is a line that says, Ishvara Paramakrishna Satchidananda Vigraha. Vigraha means someone who has form. And that he is the primeval Lord. Primeval Lord means the very first. He is the beginning of everything. He is the source of everything. That he is the reservoir of all pleasure. Govinda. He is complete. He is blissful and he is all knowledgeable. So those who believe that the Lord has a form. they understand that the Lord is the cause of all causes. So in that context, Srila Prabhupada references a verse from the Shvetashvatara Upanishad to talk about how the Vedantists or the impersonalists use one particular verse in this Upanishad to prove that the Lord does not have a form. So Prabhupada is saying that they have misunderstood the word rupam in that particular verse or rather the word a rupam from that Upanishad. When the Lord, when that particular verse in the Upanishad uses the word a rupam, it is not an indication that the Lord does not have a form. Rather, it's an indication that the Lord does not have a material form. His form is always transcendental. So here in this particular shloka, everything rests on the energy of the Lord. Uh, and that apart from him, there is no higher truth. So if the Lord is saying, apart from me, there is no higher truth. When the Lord is using the word me here, he is referencing to himself. So if we want to follow the Bhagavad Gita and be um, truthful to what the Lord is actually stating, then we have to understand that the Lord himself says that his highest form is that of Bhagavan. And that truth, there is nothing else that conquers that particular truth. 
So it's a very nice shloka uh, for us to understand that everything originates in the Lord and everything rests on the Lord. So without Him, nothing can be present in this universe.